What I always tell people is going to make or break the quality of your salah, the quality of your prayer, is what you do before and after the prayer. Just like with anything else, it goes back to the preparation. And so if you're someone that just jumps into prayer without any preparation, or even if you're on your way to the masjid and you're listening to the radio, taking phone calls, whatever it is, there's such a difference between a person that takes the time to declutter all that's in the mind and get themselves ready, than someone who just tries to jump between this and that, particularly when it comes to their prayers. And one of the things that you should do with your prayer, just like when we're talking about Jum'ah, ah, we're talking about the Friday prayer, if you just took the habit of Surah Al-Kahf and you made it a point to say, I'm going to read Surah Al-Kahf before Jum'ah ah in the masjid. So you'd get the reward of reading Surah Al-Kahf on Friday and you would have already got there early enough before to assure that you're in the roll book of the angels. Likewise, when it comes to the prayer, the best way to maintain a daily wird, which is a regimen of, of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the best way to maintain a daily recitation of the Quran of however many pages it is, or some sort of regimen of dua, of supplication, is to connect it to your prayer. So I'm gonna do two pages of Quran before each prayer, two pages after, that would cause me to finish a juz every day. Or I'll do one page of Quran per prayer, or I'll do half a page or I'll finish this set of remembrances, right? But that's going to keep you in your place of prayer. The Prophet Wasallam said that the angels continue to pray upon you when you are in your place of prayer, so long as you don't break your wudu and you don't move. They keep on praying upon you and saying, Allahumma khfir lahu, Allahumma rahamu, Allahumma khfir lahu, Allahumma rahamu. Oh Allah, forgive him. Oh Allah, have mercy on him. Oh Allah, forgive him. Oh Allah, have mercy on him. So the angels are constantly showering you with those du'as when you stay in your place of prayer. The Prophet ﷺ specifically mentioned this, by the way, when it comes to going to the masjid, if you could connect two prayers to each other and you could choose the ones that have the, sh the shortest duration between them. So you say, I'm going to stay between Maghrib and Isha once a week or once a month. But the point is, is that you choose two prayers that are close to each other. And you say, I'm going to use the time between them to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to connect back with my Lord. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, should I not tell you of deeds that cause Allah to obliterate your sins and elevate your ranks? And the Sahaba said, what is it, O Messenger of Allah? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said three things. He said, when you do wudu, and you do it thoroughly to the extremities, make sure that you get every part thoroughly, and you increase your khuta, your steps to the masjid, and you stay in the masjid between two prayers. And the Prophet said that that is like a person who is on guard in battle, except the enemy here is your nafs, right? You're, you're, you're doing mujahada to nafs, you're striving against yourself. And so it's like you're holding a station, a particular part of battle when you're between Maghrib and Isha. And that is a way by which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obliterates your sins and elevates your ranks. The Prophet sallallahu he also in one beautiful narration, Abdullah ibn Amr al who says that we were sitting in the masjid between Maghrib and Isha and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he ran back after the salah. And he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was pulling up his garment and he was running so fast that he was short of breath sallallahu alaihi wasallam to tell us something urgent and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to us that have you been here for this entire time between these two prayers and they said yes and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to us that one of the gates of heaven just opened and Allah was boasting about you to the angels. Yubahi bikum al malaika. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to those angels, Unzuru ila ibadi. Look at my servants. Look at these servants of mine. Qad qadaw farida wa hum yantadiruna ukhra. They finished one obligatory prayer and they're waiting for the next one. And so anytime you can think about how to package your remembrance, package your your, your Quran reading, package your awrad, your regiments around the prayer, then do so because that entire time, those angels are going to stay with you and continue to send their prayers upon you.